We're at Kurumbi Primary School at the moment in northern Uganda. And this is what we wanted to show you on film. These are the teaching resources for the teachers at Kurumbi Primary. Can you see they're really worn? Lots of them are old curriculum books. They don't have enough books to go around. Um, they're good, they were good books in their time, but just not anymore. And so even when we sponsor children and get them to school, it's very limited, their education. So we went away to see what we could do to support them and to help them. And there was some new technology made in Kenya called a Keo Kit. And the Keo Kit, can, you can download an entire national curriculum onto a Keo Kit. That would be all the textbooks. So all the textbooks they study can be loaded onto this one tablet. They're never worn out. And when they update the curriculum, we can connect this to the internet and update all their textbooks. So it's priceless to the school. But not only that, we want to give the children here access to the same learning as other more privileged children in the UK or Singapore or America, wherever. So on here, there's all other programs. They've got the national curriculums of the Pacific Islands. Of, um, they've got the Gutenberg Project, which has hundreds and hundreds of books from Shakespeare, Jane Eyre, to autobiographies, a whole range of books. So if they love reading, they can have a reading class, and whereas before they didn't even have one reading book, they can have a whole 40, 80 children reading whatever book they choose. On the film side, they've got the Khan Project, which contains thousands of videos. So here in this school, for example, if they want to learn science, they've got nothing to learn with science. It's all out of a textbook, if they've got one. On here, they've got videos of physics, chemistry, biology, and videos starting them at early stage learning all the way to very advanced learning. And it's all on video with headphones, so each child can learn at their own pace. Whereas before, if you've got 80 children in a class, you have to learn at the slowest pace pupil. It's also really good because it frees up the teacher, so the teacher can then go around to see the children and work out the ones that are, have difficulty learning and spend more time with them. Um, there's so much more on there, hundreds and hundreds of things, and we can update it all the time. It also comes in a flight case, which is very weather resistant. And the flight case is the docking system. So every time they finish using it at the end of school, they put it in the docking system and it will automatically recharge. And when it's fully charged, it runs for eight hours, the length of a school day. But because the flight case is the docking system, it means the children, when you're very poor, it could be tempting to steal one of these. There's no point in them taking it home. There's no way they can charge it, no way they can use it. The other thing to tell you about is it runs off one mains lead, which is very convenient for a school with very little power. But also in our really remote schools in Kochgoma and further in the bush, um, they have no power at all. And this will be able to run off solar power. So we can reach the most disadvantaged children wherever they are and we can give them access to the same kind of learning as other children in the UK and elsewhere.